And what are your favorite books? Um, I love like old English books, like Pride and Prejudice and, and Jane Austen, just stories. I love them because I feel like at home when I read them. But I all I am also really fantasy based. So I, I don't know. It's I'm kind of all over the map. Unfortunately, I have, don't have as much time anymore to read books um, because of the scripts and, and working. And I'm doing a movie right now called Love Rosie that's based on the Cecilia Ahern book called Where Rainbows End. And I did Mortal Instruments, which is based on Mortal Instruments. So I seem to be doing movies that are based on books in themselves. So I am reading, rereading the books, but my focus has to be on the projects at hand. So I do love taking recommendations from people about about different books and reading, but um, there's a, a great one that I was given recently called um, Wherever You Go, There You Are. And it's just like a mindful kind of remembering where you are. And I don't know, I like books as opposed to reading things on yeah. iPads or I like holding a book. It's great. Yeah, there's something about the physicality yeah. of the book that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, I, I was going to ask actually about Mortal Instruments because, of course, this is the first of two films that you have coming out this mm. summer. So um, we saw a tiny little snippet of footage uh, l late last week, and it's it looks like it's shaping up really well. And there's there's a little bit more kind of humor than I was expecting to see. From Mortal? There. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's what well that's what Cassie wrote the book, including you know so much humor, and that's what is different, I think, from the other trilogies or other you know series of books is that there is this realness and this humor to it and Harold our director really wanted to keep that there because it's a lot of what the fans love is the humor and that's what sets it apart um, not making it a comedy but making it have those comedic real elements to a fantasy world because if you take yourself too seriously as a full-on fantasy sometimes an audience forgets that it, there's a realness to it and the characters and I think those moments of laughter that break it up kind of make it more believable even if there are weird characters on screen that you're like those aren't real but there's humor there so it feels a bit more grounded yeah. so I think he's done a really great job in trying to keep some of that in there.